do you believe there is a prejudice inherently that black people are more violent coming from the police? No. Oh, I genuinely don't. Really? I genuinely don't. Okay. And I wanted to ask you do, you, do you, do you think that too? I do. You, I you absolutely so. do. And I, and I said, and I respect, yeah, yeah. I respect the can police. I, can I, I get a follow up though? Sure, do you yeah. as a black person think that of other black people? No. Wait, uh, that, wait, 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 wait. Mm, What's your question? Do mm. I feel... No, yeah. Do you think black people have a preconceived, like, what? Well, I don't, I don't you know remember what? the I'll exact I'll be honest. Phrasing. We're women, as women, right? So if there's a black man, if there's a white man behind me, I'm still, and I'm tall, I still, like, let them pass because I don't want them yeah, that's, towering over I'm, me. I'm, I'm still, there's still, now here's the thing, because we're, we're, we're in. You guys yes or no to me. Come on, well, yes no, or no, no, no. I, I have to be, you know? for me, it's a tough question because I was I don't physically abused. That. So I don't think I can answer that the right way in the perspective of I kind of view men, period, like as a threat to me. I don't I don't know. If so I not can... particularly black men. No, but I, and I don't want it's a nuanced kind of but question. But I don't know if that's due to because... trauma and not like societal standards. But could you say that about somebody who was assaulted you know by a I mean? black man at one point? Then you could say, I mean, that doesn't like a, justify. Like that's, not inherent. Will, will. that's not inherent then. I'm saying like I feel that society puts this inherent prejudice on black people sure. i am i am a victim of trauma i think it's a bad That's question true. to ask right, right. me have, but oh, someone yeah. who has not had any experience with a black person i do feel like our society naturally makes them feel like they are a threat sure. we do guys, and we do feel that way because we watch the news every day because every single day for all our lives we were socialized to see black men as threats and we at, from the moment they turn 15 mm -hmm. they are no longer babies even when they're 12 they're still not children they are adult men and fearful and when you see the black man you should be scared which is why it's why police officers are inherently racist when it comes to when they're dealing with black people but then we and, have, and, have and, 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 oh, no, not all not all but there is and this is not just white cops this is not just it's not it's not so cut and it, it's it's because we've been socialized. I can't even well, blame them. Is it cops because, or because, society? But, but, Are you saying police but, officers but, or society? But, the police, but police because officers there's a lot of black cops. The law. They also They're, are. Okay, so it's all people. Are? It's society then. It's not, you're pointing well, no, out it at the people. But then the we were just talking about the same thing. You you know, we were we were talking about, it's a population thing. It's it's beyond the police officers, right? This isn't, it's not just cops who think that black people might be preconceived but to be more violent. So are the police officers shooting? It doesn't matter if it's a black police officer shooting an unarmed black man or if it's a white police officer or a Hispanic police officer. It is. If they have the guns, they're the ones that are supposed to be protecting the people, right? They're supposed to be, uh, you know, coming in to save. They can't come in with a bias. They can't come in saying that black man is already uh, in date and shoot him. And I don't kill think they're killing blacks at a disproportionate rate. That's the thing. No, they, well, this is. I mean, I have to be fair, and I. You're probably trying to get to that point. We do have to admit that we black people disproportionately commit more crime. When you look, but yeah. but but my thing is, I understand why, like the positions they're in, the economic the and economic all, and, disadvantages. And what she mentioned, the mainstream media so has saying, a lot to do with it as for, well, like, because we, we commit media, we commit fifty percent of the murders. Like I mean, just you know, I, I don't and, like and that statistic it, 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 thrown in this true, conversation but, because what that does is it reinstates for people who are watching or listening. It reinstates the reasoning why I should shoot and kill a black no, man. No, 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 no,
but it's like okay but this is yeah. the hotness and they, but, and but the, pro- but but what does that the problem the problem is like just because i've been like abused by a black man does that make it okay for me to now see all black men of course as, not right but that's let me finish so my yeah. point is that even though police officers may be dealing depending on what city you're at may be dealing with more crime from people of color it doesn't mean that they should then going forward just take that with them and assume that's what I'm trying to so say the argument, just, so the argument to that would be so they don't have a right to go home because they should be because I understand they there's always there's always the I understand so this is our answer so for the cops who are listening you know again we respect what you do mm-hmm. we know it's difficult however you can't kill unarmed people specifically black men because you feel threatened because of their color you shouldn't you have to shoot them in the leg you have to uh <laughs> throw mace or do tupac. the do whatever you have to do or but what? don't kill these... tupac shakura shoot them in the leg mm-hmm. right don't get but the murder charge yeah don't mm-hmm. kill these people because what you're doing <laughs> is you know there's like other you're measures, lo- we're losing though. we're yeah we're Not losing even shooting like there's so many i feel like they just i don't know i, I think just, it's that shoot to kill mentality that i just feel like so, i think society we're on edge more with each other period not just mm-hmm. police like i think everyone yeah. is just on edge where we weren't as so well, that's what's dangerous all this division we so have there's now, just man. so i'm ready to pop off type like mentality whether you're a police whether you're anybody and i think that scares people like well look at my friend scott hogan attention. for example shot to scott hogan by the way in baltimore he was an officer in baltimore and he was on a domestic case that happened and he went on got called on a domestic case and pretty much to make a long story short he came on the case the guy was arguing with his uh, woman he was cheating with it wasn't his wife he was cheating on his, on his wife with this woman he came in on that situation they were arguing he said okay separated him served wait outside took the lady inside while he took the lady inside the guy came inside with the guy I'm sorry Scott I don't get the story 100% right but I know like the main juice of it he came inside had the gun the lady saw him coming she ran out before, right when he came in he shot when he shot my friend Scott jumped in front of the, the guy's son because he was going to shoot his own son pretty much oh my oh. Goodness. so he caught the bullet and then when he caught the bullet through his, with his, through his armor, he laid on the ground, got a pistol, and shot the guy and, and shot him in the back because the guy was running out of the house at that time. And he shot him in the back and killed him. And had told his son then at that point, hey, you got to like help me out if you could. Can you just put your hand on my chest because I'm bleeding. I'm calling the police to help me out in the ambulance, but I'm going to bleed out if, I don't, if you don't hold your hand on me. So the son saved his life. And he said the main thing he could think about when he came in the hospital, came out of consciousness in the ER, and the news was coming on was please don't say I like attacked a black person and I'm like the mm. new uh, what's his name the, the uh, white officer Eric yeah the one that no not Eric Garner the one in Charlotte that shot the guy running behind. Michael Brown Michael, Eric Bra- Michael Brown mm. no was, Michael there was another one that no. was like well, there's like a million yeah yeah, yeah, yeah you know we can one. go through the list yeah, because there's yeah, always yeah, another said, story and, and that's all which worried about is impropor- which is proportion <laughs> which we say is it's not proportionate to white people but you know I see a lot of videos of white people talking to cops very very aggressively and I see black people talking to black um, to black to white or black cops aggressively too and I see a different type of approach with them yeah. I do see that a lot and I'm not just saying that that's just because obviously I'm not watching every single exactly. incident that could be the narrative that, that but it does seem it does, does seem it does. that and I and I've been around and I've I have friends that are white I have friends that are black I am black like I see how they treat pe- the difference I see I think, the difference I think for me like personally I can't say that um Besides Eating maybe, women against besides men. maybe like a car situation being pulled over. Like I don't feel like um, black, uh, cops have treated me any differently because I was black. But I also have a white stepfather, and I grew up my whole life seeing how he was treated versus like people in my family. So it was like direct in my mm-hmm. life. It wasn't just like I perceived this. I saw this with my own eyes. Yeah. So that's why for me, it's like it is a real thing. Like I, said, you know? I don't feel treated well by cops. Me, you don't. don't? No, no. I mean, I say with me, with me, so I, got, I, got, I got treated, I got treated better than my white friends by. White, by white cops, they treated me better. So, cops uh, treat you, I, no, no, no. But, I'm, telling, he came I'm up, telling you. Remember his I had story? Yeah, you, I had some, had you get some crazy stories. Your I, stories of wait. If you listen to the podcast no, yeah, on when they Georgia, see us, when I was in Georgia, Georgia. Yes, yes. That was that seemed and, like uh, and, in that was stuff like that makes me say, why are cops using unnecessary force on people? Yeah, like, but uh, especially think, black people. No, I agree. But it, I told you the other day, he told me to bomb line. And he's pretty much when it was all said and done, he said, look, man, when you, you know, after hours of spinning with this guy, he said, only reason I pulled you over because you had Maryland tags and you're in a hydro traffic area. You know what I mean? Young guy. I put two and two together. I pop mm-hmm. guys like this all the time. And I was like, and you're comfortable with that. Um, 
If I, like I said, you were on your way home to birthday party, and I and I told you before, if if look, I I couldn't be a cop because Mm -hmm. I'm a person that kind of sees, and I see it repetitive over and over again. I'm going to get in a mode eventually. Twenty years of doing it, I'm going to be like, okay. We have a right to unreasonable search and seizure, like that, and I think that's unreasonable. We do or don't. We do. We do. Unreasonable. We do. We do have a right to not be, yeah, not yeah. be searched unreasonably. Oh, okay, the, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry if I said okay, that. Yeah, yeah. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> so like that's that. garbage. Yeah, I'm. Uh, you, I'm against over policing and like yeah. a lot of this stuff. Right. Okay. Like police stops like that. Oh no, I'm, I'm totally against over policing. You just don't that's like the not, racial. That's why, that's why I'm not a dialogue. Officer. I don't think he sees it that way. I don't think. Yeah. You don't think it's substantiated. I don't think it's a race thing. I think it's a cop overdoing it thing. I think okay. like dogs, yeah. hot dogs are, are garbage. Like they do a lot of things that are bad, mm. and like they, I don't think they discriminate. I think it's they're. Really? I think cops need better, more training. The there's of, some bad cops, but there's mostly good cops. Yeah, I agree. But just like with every powerful institution, they protect the the ones who stray out of line right mm-hmm. so like I, and everybody has to stand, stand in solidarity this happens with all the unions and all large organizations right. the teachers unions do the same stuff yep. heck the, the catholic Medical. church does the same thing don't, like don't. they they protect the in-group mm. and that's that's, that's, that's how it goes and the cop is just it's that's just another fair. union I mean, and i don't like those either <laughs> i disagree i do think that there needs to be some sort of uh I think cops need to see a lot. Like, go watch When They See Us. If you're a cop, watch that. Watch and say to yourself, am I the type of cop that would do this to um, innocent innocent boys? Am I the type of cop that would not, you know, that would use, that would, instead of, like, um, trying to defuse a situation, I would incite it more and make it a bigger situation. Am I the type of cop that sees a Hispanic person and automatically thinks drug trafficker? Am I the type of cop that sees a black woman and sees something, you know, sex worker or something? Whatever the case is, these preconceived motions. And am I the type of cop that gives the white person a benefit of the doubt? Like you have mm. to, you have to start just. We all have to do the work, each and every one of us. Black people, they say that, oh, black people say, oh, we can't be racist. We may not be able to be racist, but we do have, we can have prejudice. That's right. Right? So we all have to do it. Black, brown, Spanish, Jewish. We all have to do it and check ourselves because that's how we can live in a society with each other and not have these random issues all the time mm. you know are these black and white cops that you're or black or white cops that you're speaking to i think about cops i'm trying I to think, think of I'm cops as you, blue i'm thinking that, of cops as blue okay, i'm thinking because, of them as blue i'm trying still black because people. because i have a friend i, I have a friend who's a black cop i had my godmother i think it's like 40 percent of my brother's godmother's husband is was it like a big i don't know what you call him a lieutenant or whatever but it doesn't feel like you're including everybody it feels like it's you know what it is color thing and i don't i don't can i say why it is because because um, yeah, my, my, like I said, the um, the my brother's godfather, who was a uh, lieutenant, had so many issues. He's a black man. He looked like he's a dark skinned man. Looked like Denzel. I used to think he was old. I used to always think he looked like Denzel because he has the same old school Denzel. And <laughs> the issue with him was that you know he would get into like if he didn't have his police uniform on, he would get harassed by cops. There was one big they had guns pointed at him and all this stuff in the middle of this like he was just I, I forgot what the the story was, but I just remember him telling all these stories that used to happen to them all the time. Did he have his gun on him? He did, and he had his shield, and he had his his I mean his thing to show them. But it was always like they were always. But why does he have to do that? He always just like my I told you guys about my my friend that is um, that was a DA Mm -hmm. who literally had to switch cars because he was getting tired of being pulled over all the time in his suit when he was on the way to work because they thought that he was a drug dealer. It's like why why should he why should he have to go through that because he's a black man and he's young. And he's just driving. As but it goes as, back to something we said earlier. It was twelve percent of the thirteen percent of the black community commits fifty two percent of the crime. So that's a lot of crime happening in a one part of one area. So we have to so continue that. to do that. So it's you're not, saying continue? No, we have to address that. You address the crime issue. That's the thing. We have the black to address community. I told why that time, So you're saying? I, I, what do you say? Thing, I said, this is the best solution for police. Police and bad policing. As you said, there's bad police in the black community. Right? Okay. We'll clean the black community up to the point where you have no crime in the black community. Address the pipeline. Then when a cop comes in there, a cop even comes into the neighborhood, you're like, what are you doing on? So you want us to be perfect, you. but people, white no, but, people, no, but, can but, continue to do crimes and 
Enjoy their lives. No, and if continue. you live in a trailer park and you're acting a fool, you need to get the cops up and called on you. They right, need to get right, done. But, but if, you're, if you're living in a nice neighborhood even... and nothing's happening and it's quiet and people make have a dog barking, it's like, people you need to call the police because the dog's have barking. Lots of crimes. Yeah, it's that, just different. It's it's not, it may not be though, shootings. Nobody's shooting. Nobody, no drive by. So why does a cop need to be in my neighborhood if it's not a violent crime right there? Like, you got to call the police if it's something There could be a violent crime domestically. There could be a domestic thing. Call the police and the police then comes into the neighborhood. You can hit the gate to let them in and here he comes going in. Hey, I can't. All right, let's I go. Think, let's... I think it's a part of. I just there's this one point that I wanted to build okay. on on this Wait, whole conversation. Not like that. <laughs> Be- because we're talking about this, these are threats to the black community, right? Yeah. And we're talking about police threats to the black community. Yeah. I don't think the raw number of every time a police kills any person, it's a horrific event, mm-hmm. and that police should absolutely be reprimanded, and it's the worst thing in the world. They should be stripped from his badge if if he incorrectly killed somebody. Yeah. I think that. I totally agree. But the total raw numbers of black people that I think are killed by cops isn't right. very big. If right. I had to list the top five things that are hurting Affecting the black community, I, would agree with I you. wouldn't put it in the top five. Okay, mm-hmm. I nope. agree with you. Nope. I, I would wouldn't totally put police agree. violence totally. in the top I, five. I don't think we've but met, I think that gets we? lost in the conversation sometimes, and All this is something to be upset about, but... We should also take this these frustrations in any community and try to put it towards something big. And I know this is yeah, a whole big yeah. conversation.